Hey everyone, Lensmanos here, and welcome back to All the Mods 9. Um, one of the best things I did was get this guy going, the uh, the stonemason's hut. You can jump in here, and it has this one here, custom recipes, where you can actually um, set up all of the things that are normally made in the architect cutter. You've just got to tell them which of the two materials that they need, and they will make all of those things, instead of me having to try and make them each one, which has been a bit of a pain. So... Get one of these going yourselves if you're uh, playing through, because definitely um, means I don't have to do it anymore. Um, a few things have happened in the village. We've lost a couple of villagers lately. Um, we've got the medium quarry up and going now. I've been sort of playing around with these uh, bridges and stuff. The villagers actually don't like them, though, so they don't tend to walk along them properly, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I do love the medium quarry setup. It looks really cool with the big crane-looking thing over the top. Um, I do need to get, well that's not right, um, use shears to fix up these um, armrests as well. Where's my shears? Here they are. And you can just right click and put the railing wherever it needs to be. So again, just sort of playing around with the village. This is tier 2 now, which is nice. Um, tier 2 smeltery. There's no worker in here, but I've upgraded it to tier 2. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that, that quarry looks quite awesome. I just need to um, move the person over. I did lose the... Oh, hello. Hi. Will you do anything, though? This is, this is the issue I have. We've got you set up as a quarrier, but you don't do anything. I want to say the quarries are broken. Awesome looking area, but like... Okay. Can you work? What are you waiting for? If you say so. Nothing. Nothing at all. Build options. No, not much I can do here. You know, maybe eventually they'll do something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is is the quarries broken? Probably, knowing my luck. I've gone to all that effort to make that big area. Anyway. Uh, this episode, I'd like to go to the Nether, so I've been putting off doing all sorts of stuff. If you, if you look into the into the book, um, the quest book, with what we actually need to get done, if you go to the, the All the Mod Star, which is what we're really pushing for, there's all these different things we need to get through. So you can uh, immersive engineering piece, um, and there's you know you need like this one. We need a Nexium emitter, which is all sorts of stuff joined together. Um, there's things for evil craft, there's things for apotheosis and industrial foregoing, etc, etc. If you're looking through the quest book itself in some of these um, quest lines, let's say industrial foregoing, anything that has a little star over it are things that are required for the all the mod star. So we do need to work our way through here to get to you know these star things. Uh, they have put in a basic tools. There's been a pack update. Uh, there has been a basic tools section put in so that once you um, get to certain levels, you'll unlock not much, just bits and pieces, but just a, a thing around different um, tools to make. Nothing over the top. We're still floating through the um, <laughs> chapter one. I've still got some bits and pieces we haven't done yet. And one of them is going to the nether. So I'd like to do that today. Uh, let's pop these couple of quest result things away. Uh, I've got some obsidian. I've got a flint and steel. Uh, I've been clearing out some space down here. I probably want to go a little bit further away for my portal. So let's go down a little bit more. Make ourselves a bit of a, an area down here. I don't need um, tons of space, but I don't need it being right on my front doorstep. So let's. Should have made it. Um, <laughs> should have made it one one less or one more. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's put our. in here normal nether portal and let's light it on fire 
fancy with the shaders on. It's really cool. All right, I don't want to jump in there just yet. What I want to do is I want to take with me um, the things from hostile neural networks because there's going to be a point where I'm going to need mobs or mob drops. And this is probably the best thing to do for it. So the first thing we need is a deep learner. We're going to need three of these guys. Three of them. And this is the deep learner item. And then we're going to need some model framework. So let's grab. I'm going to grab 10. I don't think I've got 10 worth of material, but let's try the individuals. Eight will do. Uh, obviously, once what you do with these guys is you, you right click on a particular um, um, mob, and then once you've taken enough of them out, you will be able to um, generate them in the loot fabricator, etc. So that's, let's get rid of that. Uh, the loot fabricator you can see here will require a netherite ingot. I don't have that yet. I need to find one. And the simulation chamber will just require one of these guys. Let's make a couple of redstone torches. That. What's anyone? and simulation chamber. So this is what we use to continue it on. And then once we've got loot, we'll be able to use that guy. Uh, where should you go? I'm actually gonna put you downstairs in this setup using this power, I think. It will take a lot of power and I may as well use the bioethanol some more potatoes to it would be good there we go all right so now that i've got this guy underway let's pop one of these back here i've got a little bit of food with me i've got sleeping arrangements um look at all those things i need to do Ugh. i so want all the uh the people to be able to make their own stuff it's sort of getting annoying all right let's head down i don't think i need to take anything i will switch this dank over because it's set on pick up on filter so I will switch it so that it picks up um, netherrack I think let's go for it uh, yeah not much else I can do at this point fingers crossed everyone that's fantastic as I pop in I'm in one of the blood biomes. It's annoying. Let's leave that on. Let's have a real quick look at the map. Sort of nether warp block. Warped wart. You hear things running around. We head south. This way we're going to come across something. My. It's a pigman. Lots of them. Wow, what a terrible nether spawn. Not a fan. Stay away from these guys. Yeesh. Again, exactly what I need. Special mobs spawning in. I want to find is some of these mobs. Do need to go south though. I need to head towards that. Do 
over here. I don't want a uh, need a fortress of some sort. All right, we're gonna have a bit of a poke around. We'll see what I can come up with, and I'll be back in a moment. So far, so good. Um, found this bit of structure, but um, it's not amazing. Like my portal's a couple hundred meters that way. Um, I do need a bit of the crimson iron, so while I'm here, I'm collecting some of that. Um, I did come across an enderman and managed to get the um, the model for that, which is cool. And then yeah, took him out. And I don't know if I can find a. Don't know if I'll. These guys keep spawning vengeance spirits. Oh, I did find a, it is a fortress. Okay, because I need to find blazers, obviously. But here a blaze. Want to get? Excellent. Oof. Wow. Ouch. Yowch. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get you in there. Need to get another one of these down here. Eat something. Where that guy went, but we need to get a few more blazers so I can trigger this guy. Come on. So you need at least, I think, four kills? Six kills. Find a move. Ouch. Get up. Eat something would be great. Needed to hit him with the thing first. One of these. Okay. That's something I've never been to. I'm going to go check that out in a second. Chest in here, but I do want a few more. Nice. Could do with another backpack. I'm gonna do this because then I can go. And put this stuff in here. Like. Anything I can uh, carry at this point. I think the rest of that's super exciting. As I said, I just want to find a few more of the nether mobs. Why not? Never know when this stuff will come in handy. Okay. So yes, I'm going to have a, a bit more of a poke around. Um, try and collect up a few more of these um, 
mobs. Just take a bit of... You know what? Let's go and have a look at that thing over here. Not big on normal Minecraft, right? I, I don't play vanilla Minecraft. So, I don't know if this is vanilla Minecraft, but um, let's create. Be a nifty looking oil gem. All these things are my feet. Pick up my uh... <laughs> blaze rods. Oh, now I'm throwing everything. This is ridiculous. Carrying too much junk. I need that back. You can go in there. You can go in there. I want my tools. Thank you. Well, that's awesome. Don't mind if I do. Friends. I need to find some more things to tackle. Oh, look at that thing. Love it. Excellent. I missed the first one, but if I can put that in there. Let's grab another one out. You one, you're a skelly. Sure. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, skelly pants. I only hit the ground. Oh my. Jumpy, aren't I? Where'd you come from? Up top, obviously. He's up there. Let's go and get another place. Every single one helps. Hey, what am I like? No, not that one. Yes. Three of six, four of six. So I need another two with the skeletons and another three blazers. There's some skellies over there. Let's go and make some friends, I guess. All right, I'm gonna do this for a bit and I'll be back very shortly. All right, this is some sort of bastion area and I do need to enter one of these areas to collect um, items. So I'm gonna to need to try and access this. I'm not sure exactly, it kind of looks a bit broken. Those were the days. Apparently that's... What does that do? 
to a bastion remnant. Okay. This isn't quite what I need, but um, I'm here anyway. We'll see how we go. Hopefully I don't get swarmed too badly. Let's see if I can find things I require. These guys aren't going to be very friendly. Maybe he is? Oh, he's cranky now. See if I can get in here. And they're not going to be super friendly to me. I'm not going to allow them to be unfriendly. Give me your stuff. Oh, this has really ruined this thing. I was hoping I could find some loot in here, but maybe it's too destroyed. That's the case, that's the case. I'm not, you know, not the end of the earth. I'll take that though. It'll fit in some sort of bag. Otherwise, I think it's probably about time to head back to the overworld and see what's next. Um, again, crimson iron is something I do need. Okay, I'll have a little bit more of a look around, but I think this isn't going to give me exactly what I needed. Um, so, yeah. Probably time to get out of here. I don't see any chests or anything to pick things up from, so... Fortunately. Oh, that's going to be bad. There he is. <laughs> Knock him off the top instead. Oh, there are chests up here. Anything exciting? Things full. Just trying to pick up some items. Right, I'll be back once I hit the overworld. Alrighty. So we're back in the overworld. Uh, I've got my pack here of all the things that I picked up while we were there. Um, Blaze, Magma Cube Drop, yes. So what I'm trying to get to next will be this route here. So the Salvager needs uh, Crimson Steel. Now Crimson Steel is from Crimson Iron, Magma Creams and Blaze Rods. So I picked up a bit of Crimson Iron while I was in there. I'll go back and get some more. I've got 21 here and then I think, yeah, there's some... There's some uh, stuff here we can potentially, or double. But what I want to do is take the Blaze thing here, the data model. And I'm going to pop him down into this guy. It's going to use a bit of power. Um, oh, and I need some prediction matrix matrices. You see. Let's go and grab some of those. Prediction matrix. Predict. There we go. 
So these things are just going to require some... Oh, I'm going to need some more glass panes, but that's okay. We'll get, get these things underway. Uh, and this should allow us to spawn up. So I, I managed to get a couple more. I got, what, data per kills four. So I got another four once I hit basic. So this will run through. It does use a bit of power. 256 a tick, which is a bit. But we will get these um, these predictions, which the generalized nether prediction can be used to make stuff as well. Blaze rods, gold, nether wart, etc. I'll get the nether wart that we picked up while we were there into um, into a bot botany pot, and then we'll be able to make up uh, nether wart as well. Uh, but this will should also give us the ability for it'll be these things like these predictions. We'll get a chance to drop a blaze prediction somewhere in there. There'll be a you know these things here, and then you can convert them into other items. Again, this will chew through a bit of power. It's keeping up at this point, trashing the other one. <laughs> Um, it's okay. So I'll let this run through and that'll level up the data as well. Uh, but I do need to get some more of that blaze. I want to get that next piece underway. That Let's grab all these things we picked up while we were there and repair them and give them to the villagers to use. Uh, that, them, all of them. Apparently some decent uh, equipment there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to repair each of those things and I'll uh, send a few more of them through to the village. I'm going to go through my hall here. Uh, looks like we've got some intelligent diamond boots of health. Probably better than what I'm wearing. Let's see. Cover me with diamonds. Thing. Apparently I um, get bonus mana. That's okay. Let's pop them in there for now. Uh, cool. So I'm going to go through what I managed to pick up. I may do a few more remining runs through to the nether, but obviously I've, the village wants me to make a few things at the moment. And uh, as I said, I'll, I'll see what I've got and what I need to... Uh, yeah, put them in there. What I need to sort through. And then next episode, we'll see if we can go a little bit further with maybe this. Or um, while I'm here, really quickly, let's claim a couple of these with the skeleton skulls and bonuses. Because I did kill quite a few of these while I was there. I took out a couple of Endermen. Uh, there were some weird warped ones. Uh, we're going to get quest there. We've got oak drawer, apparently. And then, obviously, we need some netherite. Get a scrap and gold. We'll, we'll get there. Uh, then, with, with a skellies, kill a wither. There's, there's a bunch. All the modium is something else I need to uh, task with. That's, that's partially ticked. But I need this thing. Which is why I was looking for a bastion. So, uh, yeah. I will find what I can. I need to pull some stuff out of here too. There's all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Ooh, pipe upgrade. Don't mind if I do. Drawers. Speed. Up. Oh yeah, lots. So again, some bits and pieces here with this stuff. Might as well leave them in there for now. Lots of... Actually, can I do anything with this? No, is that just a straight smelt? Uses of crimson iron. Ooh. Ooh, I can. I can run it through the uh, mechanism setup. So, again, I'm going to play around, see what I can and can't do in this space. Let's pop that there. You can have that too. Interesting. I guess I can't put this in here if it's got something else. Yes.
does go through purification, so it's all right. It'll work itself out. All right. I'm out. I didn't get any of them. <laughs> it's a pretty low chance. 16% accuracy. But we've got some of this. Now the prediction we can convert into other things. All right. Wrapping up point. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Leave your comments down below. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will get some more... We will get some more trips into the nether underway and start really working towards some more of these items. I want to clean out this one. There's a few things here we can tidy up, I believe. I think we've got most of them. There's a bit of a storage quest there and furnaces. So yes, I want to play around a bit in here. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Comments down below. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thank you.